So today, guys, will be a small Cabela's haul, but I just wanted to make a video anyway since I haven't made a video in quite a bit of time. So, yeah, let me open the bag. And when I mean small, this haul was small. And, yeah, so basically three things. And this is what I need to stock up on. So basically what we got here is some uh, hook to use for for our offset ribbon tail Texas rig, Carolina rig, jig head. It's a yum ribbon tail red shed. And uh, they had culprit ones, but these were $2.99. And the culprit ones were like $5. And plus these had a resealable bag. And these are seven inch uh, ribbon tails. So, and it's coming up onto, well, it's actually in June. So, I figured, well, 10 to se seven to 10 inch ribbon tail worms are good to fish. And so, while uh, we're talking about um, Texas rig, I actually got. I got some, uh, these are Ultra Steel by Bullet Weights Egg Sinker, they're called. They're an egg sinker, but they are actually really technically a tungsten weight. Oh, shoot. No. The only difference between these and a Texas rig weight is that these have a like a rounded end instead of the inside but they look exactly like them so these are one fourth ounce because i figured since these said texas rig carolina rig and jig head why well, won't ever fish those on a jig head a carolina rig maybe with this exact way because they're egg sinkers but they're also good for, um, they're also good for, uh, Texas, right? And so Carolina and Texas. So those were my first two things were weights and the, um, seven inch ribbon tail worms. Now, since, like I said, it's in June, so it is, um, like time to fish jigs and get to bigger worms when the water is warming up and yeah so um, anyways this is a hack attack jig by strike king uh, it's a three-fourths ounce and the color is let's see It is a black with blue flake jig, and it's a three-fourths ounce. I didn't want to open this, but I'm just going to be forced to anyway, because I love the fish jigs. If you guys didn't know, so it's a made with Gamagatsu hooks. Just look at the flash on that hook. Look at it. It's flashy. It has a big weed guard right here. A 3 8 ounce weight, so this jig will be excellent for bound and bouncing. And it, black and blue, and if you can see that bottom, that'd be color for bass. And this hook is like humongous. Yeah, and what I throw on here for my trailer is a um, zoom craw. 
It's in peanut butter jelly flavor or color. It's purple with um purple with uh brown. So I call it peanut butter peanut butter and jelly. So yeah, just this was a hack attack jig by Strike King. And it was in the black and blue color. And with some blue strands of skirt down at the bottom. So when we're when you're swimming it when you're either swimming the jig or which I'd probably be doing the most is fishing it like a Texas rig. Is where you it's on the bottom and you tug it up and down like so I pull it once. I let it sit. So once, twice and you know how to fish a jig. Well anyone that has. So just a quick overview of what I've got. I got a hack attack jig made by Strike King. Three eighths ounce black and blue color. Um I got a yum. Hang on. I have a yum. Oh, these smell really scented. A not a yum ten inch worm. What is it? Ten inch or seven? Seven point five inch. Seven point five inch worm. It's in the red shad color. These are gonna be killer during the summertime. Which is in June, so um then to go along with these for a Texas rig and uh, Texas rig and Carolina rig we got some egg sinkers one fourth ounce these weights were in there steel made by by bullet weights um one fourth ounce twenty four set and they look like this so they'd work for a Carolina rig or they'd work for a Texas but the only difference from a tungsten and these is that they have like an egg shaped bottom. But you can still use them for Texas too, so that's why I always shoot for the um, egg weights. So yeah, all together the total was, um, let's see, uh, so we got a egg sinker. Which is four ninety nine. Yum ribbon tail worm, two ninety nine, and hack attack jig was four ninety nine, and the roundup was eighty nine cents. So the total was fifteen dollars, which my dad donated. So yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing videos soon, and. Uh,